If you are a PC builder and want to solve some puzzles, then this video is for you. I have a bad feeling about it. This is what I am going to build today. I was using this uh, 12th gen i5 uh, ITX PC with uh, 1080 Ti. I decided to upgrade to 3070 Ti and I bought this. But when I opened this, I found this. And if you compare my new GPU with the old one, it will not fit into my existing PC. So I bought another PC case and I end up with this. I don't even know how to make this case. This case is going to test all of my skill I have learned in my entire life. Look at this 1080 Ti versus 37 Ti. This is two slot GPU. This is three slot GPU. So let's get started. We have some panels here left and right side panels, power supply bracket, back panel, front panel, bottom panel, top panel, chassis pillars, more pillars, motherboard tray, PCI express cable, some internal partition. I know side panels will be last. Shall we start with bottom panel? This case is started to look beautiful. Now that we have assembled the case, it's time for its review. If you see on the back side, you have two slot GPU, but you still have some space to carry three slot GPU in it. On top panel, you can see there is a big honeycomb mesh and here you can install SFX PSU and this portion will be the motherboard and GPU will be installed on the other side with vertical uh, mount. On the bottom side, there is one cutout for the fan. It has one power button on the front and two USB 3.0 connectors. I think we should make a build now. Now I want to see if this case can have this GPU or not. It can fit inside but with 0, zero kilohertz. Let's try it out. I need to remove one beam from here so that I can fit the GPU inside. This case is still very tight for streaks. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use these standoff screws in the front panel. So the front panel will move uh, further hmm, ahead to give space for the GPU. With a lot of difficulties, finally I managed to put 3070 Ti ASUS Strix into this case. If you look closely, I used the standoff screws here and I also removed one bar from here. On the other side, this is the CPU cooler I used, uh, which came with the uh, i9 generation 12 into this case. And it is also touching the side panel almost. And I used the 650 watt SFX power supply from Fractal Design. Let's put the top panel on. So this is how it looks. You can clearly see I have enough space for a 240 radiator on top and I can uh, install the radiator inside it very easily. It's totally open space. If we compare the sizes, there is a very small difference in the size of both cases, but there is a big difference in compatibility of Geek 60 Plus case as it can accommodate a 240 AIO on the top and it can accommodate a very big graphic card. However, if we look at this case, I can merely install a low profile uh, CPU cooler into this case plus a two slot graphic card at the maximum. I cannot imagine to install this graphic card into this case. It's not possible. So my final thought for this case, this is a level eight puzzle. I did not have manual. I spent hours in order to assemble the case only. Apart from it, the best selling point for this case is that it's customizable. You can customize it as per your own need as I did to install this graphic card. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you like this video, click the like button, subscribe to my channel. Until then, stay awesome.